Hello everybody, back to Saber welcome back to Bullying. This episode we're gonna be doing some dropout missions, so let's begin. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. So let's all go begin the mission. I'm gonna just take the bus to school. I need my speedo Gonzalez vehicle. I actually thought we were going the right way for a second. I guess nine. Get the bolt cutters. That's they, not trash. They said it's Baz. She said it's Baz uh, industry. I don't think that's how Zoe's right. It's supposed to Z O E Y. That's so. So just change the Z to a H and you and you get a hoe. Hey, how are you doing? Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. <sighs> Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Let's hope. to Zoe to exact revenge from Mr. Burton. Where did my vehicle go? Oh, 
my God! Corn! I didn't have corn for dinner! Oh, this is awful! Oh, 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 yeah. God damn, I stink! I'm gonna have to shower for days with bleach! Ah, this is worse than when I got hazed! <laughs> Thirty bucks. Okay, let's go do some more Jimmy missions. Hopkins delivers. Hey, Jimmy. Prep vandalized. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't have a prep thing yet. Did we? We got the library. It was filled with rats. The gym on fire. Johnny Vincent gone. Preppy's vandalized. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us, apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. Hmm. Why do I feel like it's the townies? Hmm. Greases hang out the new column tree. A speedy, a speedy bikey dude. Not the greaser sang out. All right, Vance. Did you guys steal the preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah. And Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Go to the warehouse in blue skies. That was an accident. And those townies for townies putting rats in the crates and get the picture. I can just 
imagine the look on their face when they get another friend. All right. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> Photograph the townies with the stolen trophies. Rick Bora, return to the boxing gym. So it was the townies and they're burning all the trophies because they hate stuck up jerks or people that are still in the Bullworth school. Hey Lola. Well, Hopper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, respect minus, but prep respect your queen. I think it should be the other way. No, no, no. How would the, even the townies know that I'm... St uh, Get fucked, kiddo. Why do I not see any missions? Is it a certain day mission?
Just a little something. Wait, what? You're in luck, baby. I really like your present. It's just you and me, baby. What should we do? Oh, he's a, he's homosexual. Okay. This is just like one of those romance movies. I love it how she's watching. She's judging. Bitch. Oh, damn. Damn, he got cut. He got fucked. Mm. Did I just steal somebody's drink? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have me sped gun? Yes. What do you want from me? We're going to look back at this and laugh on me. making some meth here boys don't worry let's sleep and see what kind of mission we have let me guess I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna get it it's gonna be sounds like Jimmy Hopkins report to the detective to the principal's office Hopkins you're in trouble to the office Hopkins you're in trouble report to the principal's office <laughs> Go see the prince, the principal. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. God fucking damn it, man. You have been expelled. <gasps> no fucking shit! Ah, the next mission. Busting in part one. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. 
God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is towny kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Man, I gotta learn karate or something. Yeah, you should. It's weird that the mission the mission cutscenes took part behind the Bullworth School, not next to the boys' dorm. If we keep driving slowly, we can. Well, not driving. If we drive carefully, we can get there on time. Not on time. I don't know he lives in there. I keep, I keep forgetting that he lives in an actually good house. Hey, Russell! I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. Oh hell yeah! I get a I get a scooter. That's good for me. in trouble yeah find a helmet wear it on your moped to avoid getting trouble Have to follow follow Russell. I'm not gonna lie, I like the uh, the orange tint on this. Russell's ready to break something. Okay, Russell. Damn, they're locked. Damn, Russell, you fucking you mad man. You're a mad lad. Oh. Oh. I can't see through the smoke, man. What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Is completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edward kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. 
The power plant generators are overloaded. What I have is a spud gun. I think I stocked up on heals. Uh, at least I have 200 health suit. Go to the rest star building. Uh, I didn't know this was communism. the chemical plant. Now that we have the power restored, we've got to get to the chem plant. And to do that, we've got to take on Omar. He's Edgar's right-hand man. He's the only one with the key to the plant. Don't worry, I have uh, a lot of spot guns. Pulling out all their best shots on this one. That's the most rarest thing I've seen in Bully, when two people have inter get interconnected attacks. Get the switch, dumbass. Okay, dumbass. The restock cabinet is mine. Okay, now this should be something. Find a way around the chemical plant. Oh, 
You distract, I attack. There are no rehills. Ah, uh, thanks. That's for me. Search uh, the chemical plant plant for Edgar. I think he's stuck on the loop. Please tell me I can start from here. Oh, thanks. No 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 I really hate tightrope sections, they're just extend me failing. They just extend the playtime. What a puss.
You were knocked out. Don't tell me I start from the top again. Just spam the pipe! You had enough? You want some more? Come on, big guy! You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no! Good! That's what I thought! Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Aw, oh, man! I hate that school! My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town! Gary said we make them all pay! Wait a second! Gary? That backstabbing two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on, you're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. Tony respect a hundred. Bam. Another job well done. Uh, we're not doing complete mayhem. We are not doing complete mayhem today. So. You know what, let's... No, no, no. So that's the end of my video. If you want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment. See you on the next video. Next video, we're going to be doing... Some side missions that we're going to probably do the last mission in the game. And then do the after stuff for the mission. So yeah, goodbye.